So the very intent of this course is to make you think like a design engineer. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and I am Subhash Chandran. This video is going to be the promotion for my piping course which I have launched in my website pemidaka.com and you can go through the description of the course to understand the intent and the content of the course and if you want to watch the preview video of the course I will share the video link in the description of this video you will be able to watch it and also uh, if you want to navigate through the course this video which I have posted two weeks ago will help you actually so please don't forget to watch this video so what is the intent of this video actually in this video I wanted to talk about the features of this particular course because the title of the course if you see it's an oil and gas pipe routing for process plant piping design so in this course exclusively I am focusing on to teach you the pipe routing for different areas of the plant that is what a piping design engineer needs to learn right being a piping design engineer one must have an ability to route a pipe in different areas of the plant that is the primary skill actually then your skills uh, gets added on saying stress analysis materials and drawing preparation it goes on actually so primarily if you are a design engineer you must know how to route a piping that is the very intent of this course but the primary intent of this course is to make you think like a design engineer because if you are not thinking like a design engineer so how do you address different parameters of a plan how do you address design uh, i mean different requirements of a plan because to become a design engineer you have to know this you have to know different parameters you have to know the different uh, uh, requirements so essentially you should be able to route a piping in different areas of the plan so what i have concentrated in this video is to think like a design engineer so specifically not only in the generic part actually and more specific topics such as pipe routing for pumps and pipe routing for heat exchangers and pipe routing for pressure vessels and moreover pipe routing for pipe racks and also how to determine the BOP elevations of the piping which is the primary uh, I mean more essential part of the piping because your elevation plays a lot with respect to process condition so if you are going to take up this course you are going to learn how to do pipe routing for different areas of process plan which is one of the essential requirement for piping design engineer right and moreover you are going to learning from me who has 15 years of core design experience in piping design engineering and also if you have any doubts about any particular topic you can note it down and you can have a one on one call I mean we can have one on one call with me to clarify all your doubts and the fourth important feature is that this course is going to remain in your login for a longer period of time you don't have to worry about it and if you have any problem in accessing it and you can contact me I can send you the video of that particular part also and the next feature of this course is that I am going to add more additional topics in this course without increasing the price of the course and the topics such as control station piping, flash systems and PSV systems includes both downstream and upstream of the PSV and steam networks, steam network includes steam distributions and condensate distributions and steam trap piping design and how to do slope the lines and how to place valves in the piping system. And these are the additional topics that I'm going to add in this course without changing the price of the course. So as for us, the price of the course is concerned. I have no idea about changing the, I mean, revising the price of the course at all. But I will keep on adding more topics to educate you about the pipe routing. So now let's see the chapters that are listed in this course. One of the first topic is overview of pipe routing. In this topic, I'm going to talk about the ideas and the concept of pipe routing. And the second topic is significance of economic routing in this topic i am going to pinpoint the different parameters that has to be addressed in pipe routing and the third piping nomenclatures and terminologies that are that generally we use in piping design and the fourth is the fundamental basis of pipe routing this is the design basis of pipe routing and the fifth topic is the five important rules in piping one must have to mandatorily follow so these five important rules will help you to get rid of the blunders in your design and the sixth is determine pipe BOP elevation which is one of the primary activities in piping design and the seventh topic is the topic exclusively talk about the pipe routing in pipe rack and the eighth topic is exclusively talk about pipe routing for pumps and the ninth topic is pipe routing for compressors and turbine including the industrial practice because what you are studying through theories are completely different than what has been practiced 
In this course, I have exactly explained what are generally followed in industrial piping design. And the 10th topic is pipe routing for pressure vessels where I have covered almost all the topics of the pressure vessels including nozzle orientation design and how to position the nozzles and how to locate your instruments with respect to your PMI. And the 11th topic is pipe routing for heat exchangers. In this chapter, I have talked about how to do pipe routing for heat exchangers and how to place where, what are the parameters that you have to see and what are the requirements that you have to address in piping design while doing a pipe routing for heat exchangers. And moreover, I have also given the descriptive brief about how to do column piping step by step and stage by stage with pictures actually. So I hope this video will definitely help you to learn how a design engineer thinks while preparing a piping design, which is one of the primary skill one should develop. So the very intent of this course is to make you think like a design engineer. So if you take up this course, you will be able to learn pipe routing and you will be able to confidently deliver your piping design and that's the benefit of this course. So I believe the explanations about the features of this course are enough. If you still have any doubts, you can always contact me. I have shared my contact number in the description of this course and please don't forget to watch the preview video of this course before taking up this course to understand the intent and the content of this course. I will meet you in another fantastic video. Until then, bye from Subhash Chandra.